All right, let's do more simplifying. Let's see what you guys remember when we start throwing in <coughs> exponents and variables. This Yes, this is yay. Thank you. The square root of x to the 14th, if you had me for 0310, you know the answer. It's x to the 7th. What's the easy way for working with exponents inside radicals? Divide. Divide by the index. The index here is understood to be, although not written, 2. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. The square root of 144x to the 34th <coughs> over 100 y to the 22nd. This may look like a lot of stuff inside the radical, but it's all connected through multiplication. So you can take the square root of each of these pieces. Right, so in that numerator, the square root of 144 <laughs> is just 12. The square root of x to the 34th is x to the what? 17th. You just cut that by the index, which is 2. What about that denominator? 10, and then y to the 11th. No. I'm done, right? What do, what do you mean, no? I can reduce the 12 and the 10. So when I reduce that, what do you get? I get 6 over 5, and then you just bring the variables back because you didn't do anything else with those guys. All you can reduce here is the 12 and 10. To give you 6 and 5. <coughs> Questions about that one? Nice and easy. So easy we can't even have that on the test. How about the square root of 48? Simplifying with these square roots is important to us for what we're going to see with quadratic <coughs> equations later. Is 48 a perfect square? No, so I need to be able to break this down. You can either find the largest perfect square that goes into that, but if you don't see it, you break it down with factor trees. How do, can I break this guy down? I could do 4 and 12. 4 is a perfect square. And what does this give me on the outside? That would give me a factor of 2, but that's not all. I've got 12, which is not completely broken down. How do I finish breaking him down? I can do 3 times 4, and that's useful because 4 is another perfect square. What does he give me? What do I do with these factors of 2 that I'm bringing on the outside? I multiply them. Look at everything that I've done in here is multiplication, multiplication. So this will be multiplication as well. So what comes on the outside of the radical? And the 3 stays on the inside. Make sure you do read this correctly. This is 4 square roots of 3. You will learn to speak properly in this class. So 4 square roots of 3. Any questions about that one? <coughs> awesome. Did you know that you also could have <coughs> written this guy as 16 times 3? And since we know that 16 is a perfect square, he gives you what? you would still get 4 squares of 3. You know, even better than that, because I know sometimes we don't think about how we can break down 48 and we get kind of confused and you're like, I don't want to start with a small number. Sometimes you can do that. If I look at 48, I know that 2 goes in there because it's even. I get 24. Well, 2 goes into 24 12 times. 2 goes in here 6 times, and 2 goes in here 3 times. So what I see here on the edge are all of my prime factors written out. Since I'm in the square root, I need two of the same factor to bring out anybody. So here's one pair of 2's that gives me a 2 on the outside, and here's another pair of 2's to give me a 2 on the outside. And I multiply those guys together to get me the 4. Yay and hooray? Yay. 